Hi students, welcome to Sridhar CC Anantapur YouTube channel and welcome to our session editorial analysis session. Like we start with the a quote of the day for the motivation purpose and uh, with people already familiar with the root words uh, like as we are in alphabetical order we entered B even and we are going to enter C alphabet today. Right, idiomatic expressions especially exam point of view and vocab which comprises uh, phrases, idioms, phrasal verbs as well as uh, content vocabulary with uh, its with their parts of speech. Next uh, analysis related to the today's editorial and the last but not the least test of the day like a uh, new model maybe old model which will be very useful for you people in the exam. So as I told you yesterday once again I am reminding you guys so whoever is going to write the upcoming exams so we people uh, kept in our website like particularly that bilingual models uh, so where the students are facing this scrolling issues they can come out of that uh, issues practicing more and more in our website right let's start with the quote of the day don't let things a uh, little things uh, get you so here so most of the people like uh, now and then you see you observe in your regular life like you even you may be one of them small things like silly things like stupid things they worry about so that kind of attitude we need to change because if we go on worrying little things, what about the big things? What about the bigger things? So we needn't to worry about little things. Don't little let little things get you means let them not attack you. Let them not uh, get into your mind unnecessarily because you have more to do. You have more to become. So that's why just ignore little things next let's get to idioms so we have got two today emojis and enable to uh, enable x to y so here emojis is nothing but to come out of something or uh, someone or something something as something example as the most powerful president emerged as the most powerful as president emerged to be it's meaningless so you can say uh, mother tongue influence can't work there and next enable x to do y means simple uh, like to be able to do something as a result of some action like his extra income will enable him to buy a new television his extra income will enable him for buying yes your mind accepts for buying to buy for buying to buy here the point is 2 plus v1 is required so when you take enable you must go with a 2 instead of a any other proportion with ing form so that's why be very careful and let's get to uh, root words so you have got a c as I told, we enter C today, so we are, we are entering this C. Canned, canned root stands for glowing or iridescent. Iridescent also means like luminous. Candid, free from bias or prejudice. Free from bias or prejudice means no partiality, no previous thoughts. Uh, uh, such kind of thing is candid or malice. Next, a candle. Everybody knows this. Something that gives uh, light. Incandescent white or glowing. Incandescent white or glowing or luminous with intense heat is called as incandescent. I think you get that because you are familiar with those words. Next, cardio or cardio relates to heart and everybody is familiar with this. Cardiac or cardiogenic. No, cardiologist. Cardiopathy. Cardiac means relating to the heart. Cardiogenic means resulting from. Genic means right from that. Resulting from heart disease. Next, cardiologist, the person who treats uh, heart related diseases, a heart doctor is called as cardiologist. And cardiopathy means a disease of the heart is called as cardiopathy. Path stands for disease. Now, let's get to editorial cap, second chair. What does that mean? Deputy chairperson, so presiding officer, deputy is called as presiding. Convention, what is this conventional thoughts means custom, uh, customized or custom uh, like practice like which is a routine thing is called as convention. Uphold, what is the meaning of uphold to maintain or to continue, preserve, protect, constitute, uh, to form, uh, lie, to be or to remain or to be kept. So lie, uh, if it is taken in a nonsense to opposite to truth. Yes, uh, next spotlight, public attention, focus of public is called as spotlight. Next uh, lapse, failure blunder or even sometimes oversight I remember this particular word also next uh, let's get to non uh, consensus consensus we got this particular word yesterday that is agreement a sort of agreement an idea or opinion that is shared by all the people next non-committal what is this evasive equivocal like uh, uh, circumspect dot the question sidestep the issue non-committal means not committing sidestepping the issue 
Next, uh, reportedly, supposedly, seemingly, apparently, allegedly, turned down to refuse. It's a phrasal verb actually. To refuse, say no to something is turned down. Uh, he turned down the offer. Next, uh, enthusiastic, very eager, very keen, or committed, or willing, or passionate. Combine, uh, uh, like uh, when it is used in nonsense, a group of people working together for a specific reason or motive is combined. Erudite, erudite, erudite is adjective, well educated, uh, well informed, knowledgeable, scholarly, intellectual, and erudite. And next set of uh, nouns or ranks, people belonging to a group, uh, reluctant, unwilling, reckless. Uh, uh, disinclined, uh, grudging, uh, resisting, uh, opposing, uh, unlikely, not likely, improbable, questionable, reluctant, unwilling, disinclined, enthusiastic, overwhelming, uh, uh, like huge, uh, like which you can't accept, uh, which you can't uh, say okay for that, overwhelming, justification, reasonable, rationale. Uh, so this word is important, rationale, premise, premise and basis disregard ignore or take no notice of something pay no attention to next engage someone in uh, so in what cause someone to get involved in something a road a raid uh, a road undermine we cannot destroy you know it very well erosion erosion is non erode is we one form common ground uh, shared opinions for especially interest related sorely severely sore means um, that which causes pain desperately badly critically multitude a uh, lot number of uh, you know plen plentitude also multitude uh, large number great quantity preeminence superiority supremacy predominance pre pre you can match it match them devastate uh, wreck rack wreck W E R R E A K is also there. This track means destruction, des uh, ruining, shattering, traumatize. All these are negative words. Muster, gather together, come together. So, coming together, convene or assembling. Coherent, uh, coherence uh, is noun form, which means consolidated, joint, combined, logical, reasonable, rational. Okay, next, uh, course correction. What is this? Modifying, improving. Correction is nothing but rectifying. Magnanimous. So very important word. It's an adjective. Magnanimous O U S are generally adjectives. Big-hearted, generous, liberal, kind are called as magnanimous. Next, let's get to the editorial of the day. The second chair. So deputy and Lok Sabha deputy speaker. Convention of uh, electing the deputy speaker from the opposition should be upheld. So it has to be started. More than a year after the 17th Lok Sabha was constituted, the constitutionally mandated post of deputy speaker is lying vacant still. So very sad thing to know. This unusual situation is in the spotlight as the monsoon session of parliament begins on Monday and the Rajya Sabha is scheduled to elect a deputy chairman. So why this uh, thing got into limelight right now, spotlight right now means, so as this monsoon session of parliament begins, so on Monday, this Rajya Sabha is scheduled to elect uh, at least now a deputy chairman. So the vacancy of deputy speaker appears to be less of a lapse, so it's almost a failure and more a calculated delay by the ruling BJP, it seems like that. So it's not a particularly failure. You can see that it's a more calculated step, a delay by the ruling BJP. On September 9th, what happened? So the Congress leader in the Lok Sabha, Adhir Ranjan Choudhury, wrote to Speaker and Birla to initiate the process of election or consensus. However, so this uh, particular Congress leader, so he wrote uh, to the Speaker, uh, Om Birla. So what for to initiate the process of electing this deputy Lok, Lok Sabha Speaker? By election, either by election or consensus, means a mutual agreement. Mr. Chaudhary was also recalled the convention of offering the post to the opposition. So he even convention means a regular routine work. So uh, that post is related to the opposition. Mr. Birla has also has been non-committal in his uh, comments on the issue, and the BJP has remained silent. Here, the interesting thing is Birla, that is uh, speaker. So he is non-committal means so not. Uh, committing to that uh, so taking a side step in his public comments especially on this issue and bjp even uh, tried to remain silent about this issue soon after 2019 general election the government had made some effort to fill the position however it happened in after uh, 2019 but it had approached the ysr congress who is that so our ysr uh, jagan party which reportedly turned it down since it would have been difficult to align their protest against the government for not according uh, special status to andhra pradesh while occupying the with occupying the post so whenever it was approached uh, it had approached uh, this ysr congress they reportedly turned it down it's very clearly turned down by the ysr congress because so being in that position it's tough some for them to fight for this uh, special status uh, especially while occupying this post 
post of deputy speaker while the congress has been forceful in raising the issue of other opposition parties have been less enthusiastic however congress is the only party which is trying to raise this issue in the rajya sabha the jdu uh, uh, harivan who has been re elected uh, to the house is seeking re election as deputy chairman as the ruling combines uh, candidate so however so the previous candidate uh, who has been re elected to the house uh, so he is uh, trying to uh, seek this re election you know, so as deputy chairman so because as the ruling combines uh, candidate he had defeated congress leader bk hari prasad 125 to 105 votes in elections in august 2018 so that was happened uh, long back the ruling combine combine means that group of people despite not having a simple majority has managed managed to win crucial votes several times over in the past over in the past uh, in the upper house so this ruling combine even not having a in spite of a, not having a majority they managed to win crucial votes especially several times over in the past in the upper house that is rajya sabha this time around bjp leaders has have claimed the support of 140 members for mr havinar so they are trying to me, make him to get into this the rjd is uh, Manoj Jha, an erudite member in the opposition, is the joint candidate of 12 parties for the post. However, who is the opposite candidate to this Mr. Havinash Har, uh, Harivansh? That is Manoj Jha. So, erudite member means a scholarly, an educated, a knowledge member in the opposition. So, he is the joint candidate of how many parties? 12 parties for the post. There was confusion within the opposition ranks on whether this uh, contest was worth it or not. there was confusion within the oppositions yes several of their senior members are likely to skip this session considering the risk of covid-19 uh, infection so however they are trying to postpone this or skip this session because of this uh, risk of uh, covid-19 infection the bsp which has remained a reluctant opposition reluctant opposition party is unlikely to be different this time so it's not uh, probably different this time however this bsp the bjp has taken its overwhelming parliamentary majority as a justification for disregarding not only the opposition but also parliamentary convention so it has uh, taken its majority as a justification for what for disregarding or not considering uh, uh, not only this opposition but also parliamentary conventions means regularly routine works its refusal to engage the opposition in electing a deputy speaker is further eroding the common ground that india sorely requires to deal with the multitude of its current challenges so however so refusal of bjp to engage this opposition electing a deputy speaker is uh, clearly eroding destroying ruining the common ground what that india severely requires to deal with the multitude especially with the support of all the parties so it has to do the B- bjp's pre eminence uh, has uh, also devastated the opposition which is struggling to muster a coherent and united response however preeminence predominance devastated destroyed the opposition completely so which is trying to join uh, like coherent peaceful united response election by consensus of an opposition mp as deputy speaker of lok sabha will be a course correction so the only correction for this is like uh, election by consensus agreement of all the people of an opposition mp as deputy speaker will be the course correction the government should be magnanimous uh, and the opposition creative in dealing uh, opposition creative in dealing with this issue so government the ruling government has to be magnanimous opposition should be creative in dealing with this issue that is the only way to solve all these issues uh, now let's get to the test of the day so today's test of the day deals with uh, yes the regular orthodox pattern that is sentence uh, error detection so was well known because he was involved in the initial stages of the indian rebellion so was well known because he was involved in the initial stages of the indian rebellion so where do you find the error was well known because what because he involved in the instead of he was involved we can go with the involved that means be in the initial stages because both can go with the simple pass and that too uh, in uh, so it doesn't need to be in passive voice he was involved by someone no he involved himself in the initial stages of the indian rebellion that's why was is eliminated b is the error most of the indian populations populations plural lose singular verb that's why v1 is required and the answer is in a i think you are clear with that population singular populations plural that means a group of people is population catherine's grandfather always lost his balance while walking and would be found fallen on the road always loses while walking and would be 
yes here it's a very common thing always means uh, habit so habits are generally expressed with the used to used to instead of you can uh, would be found you can have uh, used to find fallen that means so you can eliminate this uh, would be and you can keep their use it to that's why answer is c c is the correction next her doctor was annoyed because she ignore what is this ignore so we need to have v2 form because already it's passed so she ignored her health after being hospitalized twice so answer is v2 that means c is the correction required what and the last one in uh, today so raghav was worry worry is v1 was after was was is b verb b verb takes v3 or v4 or adjective so you can go with uh, worried so was worried seems apt that's why answer is a that's all for the day guys i hope you enjoyed the class so you can so thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe our channel who you didn't subscribe kindly forward to your share, uh, friends and the last but not the least uh, like and uh, don't forget uh, to come back tomorrow so root words are going to be very important thank you for watching signing off